Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, this is the day uh, that the Lord has made. We made up in our minds uh, to rejoice and to be glad therein. Thank you so much for uh, joining us this morning. We're grateful for all of you who take the time out to join us every single Wednesday. Uh, we're grateful for all of you that take the time out to share this and send the link. Uh, somebody just told me um, this week that they... They're, they jump on our prayer calls and somebody uh, sent them the link and send them the information and they uh, jump on and we're grateful for that. So keep on sharing this time and sharing this moment uh, where every Wednesday, uh, since we've been in ministry, uh, we've been praying in some, some, some shape, some form. We've been praying, calling on the name of the Lord. Some, it was one season, Lady C was doing it and I was doing it then I was doing it and she was doing it and we just been tag teaming, and y'all just been stuck with me for the last several years. Um, and God is just faithful um, because we believe in the power of prayer. We believe that uh, nothing happens until we pray. Uh, we believe the scripture tells us that in everything, uh, or and we ought to pray without ceasing, and we ought to pray without stopping. And that ought to be our, our mindset. That ought to be our heart. That ought to be what it is that we do as being the people of God. Uh, even in this uh, this uh, Thanksgiving Eve, if there's such a thing, uh, the Eve before Thanksgiving, the day before Thanksgiving, uh, we are appreciative for this Thanksgiving season and time, uh, not just um, food, time not just of family, uh, but also a time of to reflect of God's faithfulness. And we're so thankful for him keeping us and sustaining us and being with us. Uh, all year long and not just this year, but just, of course, down through the years. Um, but it's something about having the opportunity to be able to pause and to reflect and to be able to think of his goodness and his mercy uh, that ought to cause uh, you and I, um, ought to cause some gratitude to well up in our hearts and, and when we reflect over how good God has been. So we're thankful for that. So, Father, we thank you. We give you all of the praise and we give you all of the glory. We give you all of the honor for truly this is the day um, that you have made, a day that we made up in our minds to rejoice and to be glad therein. Uh, we're so thankful for life and so thankful for health and strength. We're thankful, God, for the use and activity of our limbs. We're thankful for all that you've done and all that you're going to do. Uh, God, you are our source and you are our strength. And God, we, we thank you for that. We thank you, God, for, for being our all in all. Uh, we, we can't possibly, um, sit and think about you, think about, um, uh, everything that you've done. Uh, we, we can't just, uh, uh, simply thank you for every single waking moment. We can't thank you for everything. Uh, but God, we thank you um, in everything. We're, we're so we're so thankful, God, for all that you've done, and for all that it is that you that you're going to do. Even the, the times, God, in our lives when we didn't know you, the times when we uh, didn't have a relationship with you, the times, God, when we uh, we we knew better but we didn't do better, the times, God, when we were just simply uh, doing our own thing, the times, God, where we were just simply challenging our own lives and just challenged in our in our own way. Um, but God, we thank you um, for uh, your goodness and your mercy. We thank you, God, for your love and your compassion. We thank you, God, for your um, faithfulness towards us. We, we thank you for being uh, so faithful and we thank you for being so consistent and we thank you, God, for being so loving and we thank you for being so kind. We thank you, God, for being so, uh, so, so loving and so compassionate towards uh, your people. We give you glory for it. We give you honor and we give you praise for it. Uh, for, for this, we were called to our mind and therefore we have hope. It is of your mercy that we've not been consumed because your compassion, it fails not, but it is renewed towards us every Every single morning. Thank you uh, for your faithfulness and your consistency and your love. Uh, thank you uh, for being better to us than we can ever be to ourselves. Thank you uh, for whenever it is, God, that we uh, grow weary. Whenever it is, God, that we 
get to a place, God, where we're uncertain, whenever we get to a place, God, when we don't know how to move forward, whenever we get to a place, God, and we don't know how to shift, we're thankful that where we can reflect, then we're thankful, God, we can be able to look back. We're thankful, God, that we can be able to get to a place, God, that where we can just think about how good you've been to us. We can just think about the fact, God, that you've kept us. We can just think about the fact, God, that you healed us. We can just think about the fact, God, that you've been with us all of our lives. And God, we thank you for that. We give you glory and honor and praise, God, for, 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 for simply just being consistent and just simply being good. Uh, thank you for allowing us, God, to see another day. Uh, thank you for allowing us, God, to be able to have a reasonable portion of strength. Thank you, God, for keeping our hearts and keeping our minds uh, on you and on the things of God. We we thank you for that. We give you glory for that. Uh, for oftentimes, God, we're, 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 we look at what we don't have. Oftentimes, we look at what it is um, that, that, that we may be lacking or looking at what it is, God, that we uh, desire and we and things aren't the way that we want them to be. But God, we thank you, God, that we're not lying in a hospital room. We thank you, God, that we don't have tubes um, coming in and out of our body. Uh, we thank you, God, that where we uh, have, a, again, a reasonable portion of strength. And for that, God, we tell you, thank you. Uh, on this on this pre-Thanksgiving, this day before Thanksgiving, God, we just simply take a moment, God, and we tell you, thank you. Thank you so much for your for your concern towards us. Thank you so much, God, to where you, you, you're so concerned towards us that where you give us everything that we need, uh, that pertains to life and godliness. Thank you, uh, for your provision towards us, God, the way you're constantly providing for us, God. You're constantly taking care of us, God. You're constantly wrapping your arms around us, God. You're constantly giving us the peace that we need. Sometimes, God, we'll be going through and individuals around us have no idea, uh, what the, the battle that's going on in our minds. Sometimes Sometimes people be around us and they don't even realize the, the, the challenges that we have, even with our thoughts and the challenges that we have, even what's going on in our heart, our, our own doubts and our own fears and our own anxiety. But God, we thank you, God, the way you're always constantly caring for us and you're constantly providing for us, God, that whenever it is that we don't know, God, you give us the peace that does surpass all understanding. You give us a peace, God, that's beyond our ability and beyond our knowledge. You give us a peace, God, that's beyond uh, what it is, God, beyond our reach even, the, the peace that just doesn't make any sense, God. The way it's beyond what we can think and beyond what we can ever imagine and beyond what it is, God, that we can even even be able to wrap our minds around, God, because we don't know. We don't know. Uh, we don't know what you know. We don't know what it is that you're up to. We don't know what it is that you're doing. But, God, you'll give us a peace, God, that will that will help us to trust you, God, in the midst of even even our our ignorance, God, even in the midst of our uh, of our unknowing, even in the midst, God, of us a uh, simply and just not knowing, God, you'll give us a peace that, that will help us and the peace, God, that will sustain us and a peace, God, that will just simply uh, be to us, God, what it is that we need. Thank you for your concern towards us and thank you for your constant care towards us, God, the way you, you just don't take care of us, God, but you take care of everybody and everything that is connected to us and we and we thank you for that. Thank you for, for, for taking care of us, God. Thank you for taking care of our children and Thank you for taking care of our grandchildren and thank you for taking care of our nieces and our nephews. Thank you for, for, for taking care of us. We give you glory and honor for, for, for taking care of us, for, for looking out for us, God, for healing our bodies and, and God, for, 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 for keeping our minds stayed on you, God, and, and for making sure, God, that we always had what it is that we need. Uh, we, we thank you for your provision and your care and we thank you for your concern. Uh, God, we, we, we just simply thank you, God, because because you are, you are everything that we need. We don't got to look for another. We don't got to turn to another. But no, God, you said in your word that you're God all by yourself. And beside you, there is none other. There's none other, God, because we don't need another. There's none other, God, because you are, you are everything that we need. You are the all-sufficient one. And we thank you for being sufficient. We thank you, God, for being the one that does satisfy our soul. We thank you for being the one, God, that does quench our thirst. We thank you for the one, God, that 
that does satisfy our appetites. We thank you for being the one God that does help us and the one that does lift us and the one that does encourage us and the one that does fulfill us and the one that does lead us and guide us in all of our, in all of our endeavors and all of our ways. We thank you uh, for being everything that we need. We call on you this morning, God, because, because you are worthy to be praised. We, we, we call on your name, God, because you are great and you're greatly to be praised. We call upon your name and we agree with what David said. We'll bless the Lord, oh, our soul and all that's within us. I love that song where David was telling his soul what his soul ought to do. He said, bless the Lord, oh, my soul. He was commanding his soul. He was he was telling his soul how his soul was supposed to respond. And that's what we're doing today, God. We're telling our soul how our soul should respond. We're not going to let our soul uh, get wrapped up in grief. We're not going to let our soul get wrapped up in confusion. We're not going to let our soul get wrapped up in, 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 being, in con being consumed with what's going on in this world. But no, no, no. We're going to tell our soul to bless you. And our soul is going to bless you. We're not going to let our soul tell us how to act. We're not going to let our soul tell us how to respond. We're not going to let our soul tell us how to carry ourselves. But no, we'll tell our soul that we ought to bless you. In that, in that, that just blows my mind, the fact, God, that you're the creator of the ends of the earth. It just blows my mind that you're the sustainer of the universe. It just blows my mind that you that you're omnipresent, you're omnipotent, you're omniscient. But we got the we got the ability to bless you. We got the ability to bless you. How in the world can can can, can a finite creature uh, made from dust, uh, made from the dust of the earth that you created, bless you? But you said we can bless you when we don't forget about your benefits. You said we can bless you whenever it is that we praise you because of what it is that you've done and what it is you're going to do. And God, we take on this high, holy privilege, God, of blessing you this morning. We take on this high, holy privilege, God, of being able, God, to to to, to be able to, to give you what it is that you are asking for, giving it what it is that you're longing for and looking for. You said in your word that the time coming and now is that you're looking for those that will worship you and worship you in spirit and in truth. We thank you, God. Um, God, the way you've given us, God, we've given us the ability, God, to give you what it is that you're looking for, giving you what it is, God, that you're seeking for. You're seeking for those that will worship you in spirit and in truth. And so that's what we do, God. We bless you. We bless your name, God. We, we bless your name. Your name is above all names. We bless your name. Your name is a strong tower and the righteous run in and there are safe. It's not just saying Yahweh. It's not just saying Jehovah. It's not just saying Jesus. It's not just saying not just saying a name, but it knows what that name represents. That name is it represents authority. That name represents my identity. That name represents it represents everything. Uh, so so it's not just saying the name, but knows what that name stands by. Thank you for the credibility of that name. Thank you that way you're not a man that you should lie, neither the son of man that you have to repent. But know if you say something, you're going to make it come to pass. You're going to bring it to pass. We thank you by two immutable things. It's impossible for you to lie. We thank you, God, the way you change if not. You're the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. So thank you uh, for your for, for your name. And and, and we, we sang a song and we said, what a what a beautiful name. What a beautiful name. And it and it is what that name is symbolic of. We we give you glory this morning and honor this morning, God, because of who you are and because of what you represent, because of the fact, God, that where the way you, you don't change. And Malachi said it's because of the fact that you don't change. It's because of the fact that you don't waver. It's because of the fact that you change them not, that we are not consumed. Thank you for that, God. It's not the fact because we made all the right decisions. It's not because of the fact, God, that we, we made all the right turns. It's not because we, we pulled ourselves up by our own bootstraps. But no, God, it's because of the fact that you don't change. That's the reason why we're not consumed. It's the fact, God, that because of your steadfast love concerning us. God, that's the reason why we're not consumed. It's because of the fact, God, that you are always giving us the grace that we need, the divine enablement that we need. God, that we're, that, that's why we're not consumed. It's because God, you're always putting your super on our natural. That's why we're not consumed. It's because of the fact, God, that you're always developing us and you're always grooming us and you're always growing us and you always desire for us to change, God. The way you tell us, God, that you desire to bless us but don't want to bless us where we are. And God, we thank you for you always wooing us and you always calling us, God, and you always drawing us closer to you and nearer to you. Thank you, God, the way you desire, God, to be near to 
to us. Thank you, God, the way you'll walk in the midst of the cool of the day and you'll say, where are you at, Adam? I'm looking for you. And God, thank you the way you long to be with little old us. Thank you, God, that you desire to communicate with little old us. Thank you, God, the way you desire, God, to have fellowship with little old us. And for that, God, we tell you, thank you, glory and honor praise, dominion, and power. It all belongs to you. We will bless the Lord and our soul will do it, God, and we will not forget about your benefits. It is a benefit, God, being your son. It's a benefit being your daughter. It's a benefit, God, the way we have not received the spirit of bondage unto fear, but know we've received the spirit of adoption whereby we can cry, Abba, whereby we can cry, Daddy, Daddy, it is a benefit, God, the fact, God, that you've given us power, God, over all the forces of the enemy. It's a benefit, God, the fact God, that you've given us the ability to pull down every stronghold and cast down every wicked imagination. God, it is a benefit. The fact, God, that where we're able, God, to be able to stand on a, the authority of your word. And God, it is a benefit, God, that where you've given us Holy Spirit that leads us and guides us in all truth. It is a benefit, God, that where, that where Holy Spirit teaches us and convicts us and, and, and changes us and, 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 and rearranges us. It is a benefit, God, that where we can be able to go to your sacred scriptures, God, the way your word tells us over and over again, God, that man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of your mouth, God. You said in your word, God, that upon this rock you'll build your church and the very gates of hell will not be able to prevail, God. And you said well, we can build our lives on your word and the rain can come, God, and the wind can come, God, and the storm can come. But God, that, that house will not fall, God, because it's built on your rock, God. It's built on your word. Our homes will not fall fail, what we're building will not fail, what we're erecting in your name will not build, will not fail, God, because of the fact, God, that we're able to call on your name and stand on your rock and stand on your word, and God, for that, God, we tell you thank you, glory and honor this morning, God, it all belongs to you, we got an attitude of gratitude this morning, we got an attitude of appreciation, God, we're not going to get wrapped up, God, in all of the, all of the different uh, trappings of this holiday season, oh no, we're not going to be depressed, maybe some of us have some long, some loved ones, God, that are with you. Maybe maybe somebody has some parents that's with you. Maybe somebody has some children that's with you. Maybe somebody has some some friends and some family that's with you. But God, we will not allow the holiday, we will not allow the holidays to creep up on us, God, and allow us to be in some holiday blues or some holiday funk. Oh, but no, we, we will not allow ourselves to go there. But instead, God, we're going to thank you for the fact, God, that you gave us our loved one for however long, God, you allowed us to be able to have them. Thank you that you let me, that you let me have my, that my, that my mother was alive for 56 years. Thank you that my father was alive for 60 some odd years. And God, we thank you for that. We, we we're going to thank you for the time that you gave us with our parents. We're going to thank you for the times that you gave us with our loved one, God. And we'll, we'll give you glory for that and honor for that because somebody, somebody, somebody never knew their parents. Somebody never knew their father. Somebody never knew their mother. Somebody never had the ability to have children. Somebody, somebody, somebody didn't have any siblings. God, God is always can be different. Things always could have went a different way. But God, we thank you, God, for the time that we had, God, and the, and the space that we had. We give you glory and honor for that. We're not going to soak and we're not going to be in the pity party and we're not going to be all doom and gloom and not going to be all sad and we're not going to be looking all crazy so people can ask us what's wrong and all that. We're not going to do that. But no, God, we're going to we're gonna rejoice in the Lord. God, we're going to rejoice in the Lord. God, we, we know where our joy is. It's in you. We, we know where our hope is. God, it's in you. We know where our trust is. It's in you. We're going to rejoice in the Lord. Uh, Mama, gone, daddy gone, friends gone all these individuals that we know and we love they're gone, but God, you're not gone and God, that's why our joy is in you, our joy is not in people, our joy is not in a person our joy is not in circumstances but God, we're going to rejoice in you and for that God, we tell you, thank you, we're not going to allow the holiday blues to creep up on us God, because we don't have, because we don't have a boot, because we're not, because we're maybe we divorced, maybe our marriage dissolved and now now we're alone now maybe this is the first holiday without 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 her and first holiday without him and god we, we're not going to allow 
We're not gonna allow the holiday blues to creep up on us. Maybe we've been, maybe we've been by ourselves for a long time. And every year, this, uh, this time of year, we find ourselves getting sad. We find ourselves looking at old TVs and looking at shows and watching movies and we feel some type of way because of what we don't have. Oh no, we're not going, we're not going down that slippery slope. No, we refuse it right now in the name of Jesus. Oh no, we're not going to get on this. It's not going to, we, we want off this ride. We're not going to be on the same vicious cycle again and again and again. Again, the devil is a lie, but God, we thank you, God, for wherever we are. God, whatever our relationship status is, God, whatever it is that has happened uh, to, our, to our marriage or to our relationships or, the, or why we're alone right now, God, we thank you, God, that it doesn't even matter, God, because of the fact, God, that you are with us, because of the fact, God, that you are with us. You are Emmanuel. You said you'll never leave us, nor forsake us, and not only that, God, we thank you, God, because we know that you have a plan and a purpose for our lives. Not only that, God, we understand, God, that you're not done with us. Not only that, God, we know what, what you know, we know that you know what's best for us. God, you know what we can handle. God, you know what would destroy us. God, you know what, what, you know what, what would get us slapped out of your will. So God, we trust you, God, even whenever it is that, that, that whatever it is that, that, that we're looking for isn't lining up. God, will we trust you? And God, when, when what we're looking for is not lining up with what we know that you're saying, God, we ask you, God, that, that give us a heart, God, that will come in alignment with your word. A heart that will come in alignment with your will. We desire a heart, God, that will help us, God, not to be able to try to bend you towards our will and bend you towards our desires and bend you towards what it is we want you to do. We're not trying to manipulate you to do anything. And prayer is not about manipulating you. Prayer is not about bending you to our will, but prayer is about uh, us being bent to your will. Prayer is about us being bent to what it is that you have to, what you, what your desire and what it is that you have to say. And for that, God, we tell you, thank you. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus, God, that you're bending us. We thank you even right now. That's what prayer is. Prayer is building up on our most holy faith. We're praying in Holy Spirit. That's what prayer is. And you're doing it for somebody right now. Somebody was discouraged. Somebody was already on their way down to that holiday blues. Somebody already been feeling some type of way since we came into November. But God, you're building us up right now. You're empowering us right now. You're equipping us right now. You're kicking the crutch, God. You're kicking away every excuse that we have. You can't get away everything, God, that we look at. Our little go-to. Our little go-to phrase. Our little go-to. Some of us put on go-to uh, outfits. We got our little we got our little pajamas that we put on when we want to feel sad. And we, we got our little shows that we watch. And we got our little things that we do. But right now, in the name of Jesus, we're not going to have no pity party. But no, God, we're going to turn our pity into praise. We're going to turn our pity into worship. We're going to turn our pity into thanksgiving. We're going to turn our pity into a, a, into a place, God, the way it's going to just simply be a platform that where we can be able to give you glory and give you honor right in the midst of us feeling bad right in the midst God of us feeling like whatever it is is, 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 a, is an injustice to us but God we give you glory edit in, in our hearts those things that you desire edit out those things out of our heart that you desire not to be there and we give you glory for and honor for we will not allow ourselves to get consumed God in this consumerism in this season some of us have already been watching some of us already been doing our inventory. Some of us already been on this app and been this place and that place looking for these deals on Black Friday. And really, they don't even got to wait to Black Friday. It's, it could be a, it can be a, a, a it can be a, 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 a wild Wednesday. And God, we don't have to wait for the midnight uh, of Thursday night, God, the, the shop, the way things are. But God, right now in the name of Jesus, we're not going to get consumed in that. God, we're not going to be driven by that. We're not going to go do the same thing every single year with, with some of us, God, where we get in over our head. Some of us, God, we max out our credit cards. Some of us, we get to a place, God, to where we just simply, we just try to get and get and get and God. And we, and we don't think about tomorrow. We, we don't, we take no thought of tomorrow. What we just simply say that. We're not going to worry about it. We'll let tomorrow take care of itself. But, but, but God, we pray that we'll do something different this year. We pray, God, that we will, that, we, that you have no issue with us being a blessing. Have no issue with us, uh, with us doing, doing whatever, uh, as, as long as we consult you and as long as it's, 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 it's within your, your will and within your, what it is that you, your parameters of what it is that you set forth. Have no problem with us being a blessing. But at the same time, you do not want us, uh, God, to, to, to put ourselves in 
in a, in a, in a jam and put ourselves in a pinch. But right now in the name of Jesus, we're not going to be stressing. We're not going to be stressing about what we can't do. We're not going to be stressing about what we can't buy. We're not going to be stressing about all of that. That's what the enemy does. The enemy, the enemy gets us into a place, God, that where we're, which is all wrapped up, tied up and tangled up, God, and what it is, God, that we should not be tied up in. And that's why many individuals pull away from this, this time. They pull away from, from this holiday season and, and, but because of the, because of the, this, this thick, this thick drive and this thick push, uh, for, for things and for stuff. And God, we don't keep the main thing, the main thing, but God, we thank you that God, the way we understand that we're getting out ahead of it. We get out ahead of it this morning, God, and we're going to keep the main thing, the main thing. We're going to trust you every step of the way, God. We're going to honor you every step of the way, God. We're not going to allow anything to get wrapped up in our mind and wrapped up in our heart. Uh, but God, right now in the name of Jesus, we come to you and just simply tell you, thank you. We come to you, God, and just simply get, give you glory and give you honor and give you praise, God, for what it is that you've done and what it is that you're going to do, regardless of our limitations, regardless of what it is that we don't have, regardless of what it is that we're not able to do. God, we tell you, thank you, God, because you said in your word, God, that we ought to acknowledge you and all of our ways and you will direct our path. We give you glory for it now, God, because of what it is that you said and what it is that you've done and what it is that you're doing. And God, we know that life does not consist in the abundance of things, but life is in you, God. Life is about being wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in you. And God, we thank you for that right now in the name of Jesus. We pray, God, that where you will, you will, will, will you'll give us all the desire for you. We pray, God, that you'll give us all the insatiable appetite for you. We pray, God, that where we'll, that where we'll get, have a desire for you. And then, God, when we experience your presence, God, when you give us your word, God, whenever it is, God, that you wrap your arms around us and comfort us, God, that push us to want some more. We pray in the name of Jesus, God, that we're our, the, the thing that we're looking for and long for. It will birth a, a more hunger and more thirst and more desire in us. And God, that it calls us to want you even more. And God, when we get more of you, God, we'll want more. And then when we get more, we'll want more. God, we thank you for it in the name of Jesus, God, that way that we're, you'll always keep us longing and you'll always keep us desiring. You'll always keep this drive in us. That's what we pray this morning. We pray, God, that you'll always continue to allow us to seek you and to pursue you. And God, to get to a place, God, that where we need you, like the deer that panted after the water. We pray, God, that our soul will long to be with you. We give you glory for it now. We give you honor for it now. We give you praise for it now. God, the way, the way we won't allow, God, our trouble to snuff out, God, our appreciation with you. We won't allow our trials, God, to snuff out our appreciation for you. We won't allow, God, the things that we've experienced and the things that we've gone through to get us to a place, God, the way we're, the way we're not grat we're not, we're not exemplifying gratitude. God, we're not exemplifying gratefulness. But God, we thank you for Lord, in the name of Jesus, we give your name the glory. We give your name the honor and the praise. We thank you that you're doing it in our marriages. We pray, God, that you will keep all of our marriages and get us to the place, God, that where we're we're glorifying you in our marriage, God, that where we're that where we're kingdom representatives. I pray for every husband, God, that where we'll have that drive and have that desire, God, to want to be a godly man and want to be a a man that models after what it is that you had in mind when you said that we're called to be husbands. That's what we desire. That's what we looking for. That's what we want. And we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. You've given us all the grace that we need, God, to be the husbands that you called us to be. We don't have to fit into the mold of this world. We don't have to fit into the mold of what it is that our society is telling us to be and what our family is telling us to be. But God, we want to fit into the mold. We want to be transformed, God, and by the renewing of our mind. And we want to fit into your mold. We want to fit into your agenda. And we thank you for it in the name of Jesus that you're doing it now. We thank of every godly woman. We thank of every godly Godly wife, God, that where we don't have to fit into the mold of this society. We don't got to fit into the role of all these shows on television, all these reality shows. They're showing us how, how our wives act this way and these wives act like that. But no, God, we want to model uh, what it is that you, whatever it is that you put on display. We want to exemplify, God, what your standards are. And we thank you for it. In the name of Jesus, every wise woman builds up her husband and builds up her man and don't tear it down, builds up her family and doesn't tear it down. It doesn't tear it down. But we thank you for the wisdom of our wives. We thank you, God, for the, for our help meet. We thank you, God, for, for the, for the support of our wives, God, and for the, and for the vision of, of our wives and for the insight that you've given our wives and that, 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 that intuition that you've given them, God. We, we thank you for it. That 
that, that, that discerning spirit that you've given our wife. We give you glory for him now. We pray, God, that, that you'll just continue to breathe and just continue to move and continue to do what it is that you do in the hearts and the minds of our, of our wives and in our marriages. We thank you for our children, God, as you're covering them now. We thank you for covering our babies, God, from the youngest to the oldest, from our grandkids to our nieces and our nephews. Cover them, God. Don't allow the enemy to see his desire on their lives, but God, we'll pr we, pr we pray, God, that you'll protect their little minds and you'll protect their hearts and you'll protect their innocence, God, and you will not allow them to be touched inappropriately. You will not allow something to go into their hearts and into their minds, God, that, that they're not quite ready for, can't handle, but God, we pray that you'll safeguard our babies right now in the name of Jesus, God, that where no one will take advantage of them. We pray, God, that you'll safeguard our babies, that no one will, will, will take advantage, God, of their, of their, of their immaturity and their, their lack of wisdom in some areas. We pray that no one would take advantage of our babies, but God, you'll hold them and be with them in the name of Jesus. We can't be with them all day, every day, but God, you can. We thank you for goodness and mercy being with our babies and following them all the days of their life. We plead the blood of Jesus over our babies, God, that you'll keep them from being raped and keep them from being molested and you'll keep them from being conducted and keep them from away from sex trafficking. You'll keep them away, God, from bullies and you'll keep them away from individuals, God, that want to tear them down and destroy their confidence. You'll keep them away, God, from the algorithm, God, on social media that that just prom that promotes to them, God, how they're supposed to look and to promote to them how they're supposed to act and how they're supposed to carry themselves. We ask you, God, to keep them away from that. God, keep them away from the influence of the world and, and God, keep them away, God, and, 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 we, and we can't pray this in an abstract way. We can't pray this as if we're uh, as if we're detached from it, but God, as parents, God, we, we, we have a responsibility, God, to keep those things away, that not to allow them, God, to be so consumed uh, on, on their electronics and so consumed on social media, God, that we're not checking on them, that we're not going in and in, in, in getting involved in their life and getting diving into their world. We can't be so consumed with our lives and so consumed with what we got going on. And God, we're not, we don't have any checks and balances in place when it comes to our children, but God, help us, God, to do what we need to do. We're asking you, God, not to allow them to get sucked into that, God, that algorithm and get sucked, God, into what the society has. But God, we're also asking you to give us the wisdom that we need, God, that where we, that where we can do our part, God, because you allowed our children, God, not to come from us, but you sent them to us. And God, it's our responsibility to shoot them in the direction, God, that you so called and so ordained them to be. And we thank you for it, God. We thank you for this awesome privilege, God, to be called parents and grandparents and uncles and aunties. We thank you for, we thank you uh, for this privilege, God, that you've given us. And we give you glory and honor and praise for it. Thank you for Truth and Love Ministries. Thank you about, for, for the, this time last week, God. We were, we were, we were connecting our church to the community. And what a beautiful thing it was. What a powerful thing it was. And we thank you for Truth and Love Ministries, God, that that's not a one time thing. That's not a once a year thing. But no, God, you put in our heart, God, every week, God, we, we passing out food. Every week, God, we're being a blessing, God, to those that are underserved and under, and, uh, and, 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 and don't have, and don't have what it is they need. God, you give us the, the resources and you give us the, the heart and you give us the mind and the desire to be able to do it. And we thank you for it in the name of Jesus that we're not an, that we're not an internally focused ministry, God, but we are an externally focused ministry. And we thank you for that. God, that you've given it to us, God, to be able to connect our church to the community, and we give you glory and honor and praise for it. We give you, we we thank you, God, that we're, we're, what it is that you're going to continue to do in our ministry, that what you're going to continue to do, God, as you as you allow us, God, to, to, to continue to grow, and as you allow us to continue to develop, and as you allow us, God, to be able to 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 to, to kind of kind of do what it is, God, that you place in our heart to do. We pray, God, that you'll continue to open up doors, and we pray, God, that you'll continue you got the <clears throat> to position us in a way, God, that we're able to do these things and we're able, God, to flow in these areas, God, and we're able to bring you glory and bring you honor and bring you praise in everything that we do. We thank you for it in the name of Jesus for the souls that are being saved and the lives that are being changed and the backsliders that's coming back to you. We thank you for it in the name of Jesus. We pray, God, that where you'll give us the desire, God, to go out and the desire, God, to go and compel men to come. We thank you for desire, God, the way you told us to go into all of the world. 
and preach the gospel to the poor. We pray, God, that you'll give us a desire to go and a desire to share and a desire to invite and a desire, God, to be able to do what we need to do, God, the way we can advance your kingdom. We don't want to be saved and satisfied. We don't want to be saved and sick. But God, stir us up on the inside, God, to pass out a card to somebody. Stir us up on the inside, God, the way we'll send a link to somebody. Stir us up on the inside, God, the way we'll open up our mouth, God, because of the fact that we're so grateful and we're so appreciative and we're so thankful for what it is that you've done for us in our lives. We cannot keep it to ourselves. Stir us up, God, to be externally focused, God, and pray for people and encourage people and love on people and bring them to the house of the Lord. And then, God, we pray, God, that we'll, you'll, that you'll give us what we need internally. You'll give us what we need, God, with our infrastructure in-house, God, that when you send the people, when you send individuals to our ministry, we won't mishandle them. God, we won't, we won't damage them, God. We will not drop them, but God, we'll love on them. And God, we'll give them what it is that, that, that they need, God, to be able to help them to become everything that you call them to be. We thank you, God, for, for us being an equipping station. We thank you, God, for giving, for letting us be a, a, an acute, a, an acute an acute center, God, that where individuals be able to come what it is and get what it is that they need, God, and we'll be able to nurse them to health and wholeness. And we thank you for it in the name of Jesus for that kind of anointing and God, that kind of that kind of grace that you put on our house. And we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. We're gonna walk in that. We're gonna flow in that, God. That where folk, God, they, they when they they couldn't forgive, God, they couldn't they couldn't let things go, God. They couldn't they couldn't mature in this area. They they never was able to do this in that area. But God, you've allowed us, God, to be able to have a type of grace, God, to level up, a kind of grace, God, that will mature us, a kind of grace, God, that will pull us up, a kind of grace, God, that will take us from height to height and from depth to depth, God, to, to, to another realm and to another dimension. And for that, we tell you, thank you. We give your name the glory. We give your name the honor and the praise for all that it is that you're doing in the heart and the mind of truth and love. We pray even today, God, as we have our as we have our noonday worship experience, our normal through the word Thursday, God, we're going to do it today. I pray that you'll send the people. I pray, God, that you'll touch them, God. Uh, th those individuals, God, that that, that have the, the ability, God, to be able to come and worship. I pray, God, that you'll send them from the east and the west and the north and the south. I pray, God, that they just won't come and flop down, but God, you'll give them earnest expectation. I pray, God, that you'll give them a hunger and a thirst and a desire for your word and a hunger and a thirst and a desire, God, to receive everything that you have for us today. We pray, God, that you, there will be, there'll be no distractions. We pray, God, that the enemy will not, uh, they will not rear up his head, but we render him powerless even now. And we pray, God, that you'll be glorified and you'll be magnified and your people will be blessed. We give you glory. We give you honor and we give you praise for all that you've done. And even in this season. As we're around our friends and our families, God, we're praying that you allow us, God, to let our light so shine, allow us to let our lives be so live. We pray, God, as we're around our family, God, that we will not be silent, but God, we will, we will say something. We will speak up, God. We will, we will tell of your goodness and your mercy and we'll, we'll tell of your, how, 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 how much you love us and how you're so concerned for us. We'll share our faith. We won't, we'll be bold and we'll pray and we'll invite. We'll do whatever we need to do. And we pray as we're around our families. We won't spend our time fussing and complaining and nagging. But God, we pray we have a good time with our families and our families have a good time with us. We pray for no foolishness and no drama and no bickering and no fighting and all that. No bringing up the path and all that. We pray, God, that you'll keep the ghetto uh, the ghetto stuff down. We will be all that loud drinking and all that old uh, fussing and cussing and all this other kind of stuff that just, just leads to uh, arguments and foolishness and people just being wild. We pray that that won't happen, God, but we pray, God, there'll be a good time when we're with our family, God, and we'll be able to make memories. And God, we thank you for it because we know that you're able to do it. We give you all the praise for the individual that's traveling, uh, that they're going here and they're going there. We pray for the traveling grace and traveling mercy. We pray, God, that your good hand will be upon us, God, as we go and as we come back, as we do what it is that we need to do. We give you glory and honor and praise for it. We thank you, last but certainly not least, I thank you for my family. I thank you for my wife. I ask you to touch Lady Camilla Jean Nesbitt right now in the name of Jesus, from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. I ask you to continue to minister to her and continue to strengthen her, continue to heal her, continue 
continue to allow her, God, to be everything that you called her to be. We thank you for the grace, for the grace on her life, for the anointing on her life. And we pray, God, that the enemy will not see a desire upon her life. But God, we thank you, God, that what she's walking in purpose. And God, you're allowing her, God, to continue, God, to be who it is you called her to be. Thank you for Sharia. Thank you for Kendall. Thank you for Carson. Thank you for C4. I pray for my children. I cover them, God, right now in the name of Jesus. Letting them fall madly in love with you. Protect them from the enemy. And God, we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. And this is the confidence that we have in you. If we ask anything according to your will, God, we know in your word that we are going to have it. And we thank you in advance for all that you've done and all that you're going to do. In Jesus' matchless name, amen, amen, and amen. Well, I thank God for your truth and love, nation. Uh, thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your commitment. Uh, thank you for all that you've done and all that you are doing. Uh, let's just continue to be the people of God and continue uh, to forge forward and continue uh, to make headway uh, and continue to advance the kingdom of God. Uh, man, I'm so appreciative uh, to be connected with you all. So appreciative that I get the privilege to be able to serve you in the capacity of being uh, the senior pastor of Truth and Love Ministries. And I'm so grateful for it, for all the persons that's connected to Truth and Love and all the people who are just our friends in the kingdom. And we uh, we thank God for all of you that are, that are listening and tuned in and thank God for you. One, we're many members, but we're one body. I've already mentioned that we're having our our um, worship service today at 12 noon. Man, uh, it, 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 and, and, uh, I, I think it ought to be something that ought to be said. You be connected to a ministry uh, that tries to do all that we can to try to be consistent and try to um, try to um, be present uh, because of the fact that there are so many, there's so many ex reasons why we could. Don't y'all stop posting on me. There'll be so many reasons why we could um, shut down and cancel and do all of that, but we don't do that. We just pivot and we just shift. And so if you're available, um, we ask you to come out today and worship with us at 12 noon. Uh, maybe you work at night, maybe you're retired, whatever the case may be, uh, you're off, um, because of the holidays, make your way to the house of the Lord, uh, and, and give, give God your thanks and your appreciation for, for what it is that he's done and going to do today at 12 noon is going to be absolutely phenomenal. And, um, of course, we're going to be shut down on Thursday. As far as the ministry, we're going to be shut down on Thursday. It will not be any um, activities. And I don't see anything on Friday either. We just pray that you enjoy your family and your friends. Of course, we got the, the viewing uh, for Mother Thomas. It's going to be Friday um, evening at the church. Uh, the, uh, let's see where that, where that time is. It's going, I think it's from from 5 to 7. The viewing for Mother Thomas is going to be at, at the church from 5 to 7 on Friday. And then on Saturday, we have Celebration of Life at 11 a.m. So we ask you if you are available, come out, on, especially on Saturday, um, to kind of help us love on this family and come serve. Maybe you're not normally a sanctuary servant or greeter. Come out and serve. Uh, come do what you need to do. Praise team. We're looking for you and everybody else. All I'm not going to call out all the ministry. We need your help. Um, to do what we need to do. So, man, I love y'all. I thank God for you. Now, um, as I get ready to close, you can make sure you post on group me uh, and let everybody know how how encouraged you were by this time because we just continue to reinforce that we have a culture of prayer. So, man, I love y'all. I thank God for you. I'll see you soon. Peace out. Here come the church. Bye-bye.